going to New York was very expensive. And I can remember looking at this going, okay, yeah, how, I don't know. I, I, I'm really focused on the ROI of everything. I've got my business brain is, uh, you know, massive. And so uh, I can remember having a discussion with, with her after researching. I said, okay, I'm, I'm on board. I'll, I'll pay for this. Be, and, but this is the only reason why is yes, you're a creative person and you're in the arts, but deep down you're a manager. Ah, and I watched her in high school running the theater. She was the president of the theater, uh, you know, the group or whatever they called yeah. it back then. And and she managed. And I can remember her coming home saying, "You know, Dad, my friends are telling me that I'm I'm bossy." And I said, uh, "Well, you're you're the boss. That's why and they yeah. don't like you telling him what to do." So yes, let's let's talk about some tips on how to get your you know friends to do things for that they have to do as persuasion. Uh, but I felt that uh, because she was on that management path, that the investment would be would be worthwhile. Sure, and and, I, and so far it's proven. She's I, I was going to say, years, she's, you, yeah, you have yeah. to you you have to. I mean, any investment comes with a risk of not knowing for certain the outcome of it, or at least most investments. Yeah. I suppose there's some that are guaranteed, but th that's one of them that's not. And there are many that aren't. And we use our business brains to analyze those things. And I had to pull my business brain out a little bit of the financial side. I had to zoom out with my business brain. I don't want to say I had to turn my business brain off. I had to zoom my business brain out when looking at the value of a college education, uh, you know, over the summer when I sort of had to had to stare down this this tuition hike.